Hey guys, welcome to the Kane Audio vlog series. Um, so I mentioned this in one of my other videos, so I thought I'd cover it in a bit more detail. Um, this is kind of, I, I guess, an extension to adding depth to a track and, and just having some subtle things running in the background. Um, there's a couple of little things that I've done in a, in a couple of tracks here. Um, so I'll just get straight to it really. What I've done is started building a track um, and I wanted the track to be kind of quite deep and ploddy and progressive and so I, I it's not about using big synths, big bass lines, it's about keeping things smooth but at the same time I wanted to have the track quite driving and pulsing so what I've done is uh, a little trick where I've grabbed a vocal stab um, I think the original is just a female vocal going eh or something like that and I've reversed it added a little bit of reverb and I've just caught the tail end of it um, in reverse and I'm just looping that basically playing it on the beats so you can have a look see what I've done here I've called it Atmos I've got the uh, sample here you can see it's just playing and that's it um, it's pretty straightforward but with that because obviously it had reverb on the original and now I've added more reverb onto it as well. Um, I've also cut out some of the low end just because it was a bit too full. Um, so I've scooped out from, oh, what's this, 1K-ish downwards to sort of 100 hertz. So there's just no proper low end in there. Stuck on a bit of reverb, automated the amplitude, um, and then it kind of drives through the whole track. So I'll play a, a, a clip of the track. Obviously it's quite a long track, so I'll, uh, I'll play your clip now. So that's it it's just running there in the background and as you can see it's pretty much all the way through the track um, in the uh, breakdown ish area of the track you can see I, I kind of use that to become almost a, a, a main feature of the breakdown um, so if I just play it on its own so you can hear it that's basically it all the way through um, and I just find it kind of makes the track a bit more bit more driving and there's just this little sort of subtle sound running through the background basically um, and then in the main breakdown part where all the drums and everything disappear it starts to disappear with it and then just creeps back so if I play the second half of the breakdown for you you can just hear how it 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 kind of disappears throughout while the melody and everything is progressive uh, uh, and then everything kind of thins out towards the end and it just creeps back in and just drives the track forward a bit more so I'll play the second half of that And that's basically it and I've done it in another track over here uh, let me see if I can load this one up um, and again it's kind of a, a similar well no it's an identical technique 
um, but this time it's a much more simple sound um, and I guess kind of almost a bit more effective as well so this is a bit more of a down tempo track I've got going on here um, and yeah all over, well let me just play a clip of the track first so you get an idea of uh, what it sounds like <laughs> So that's basically the 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 track. Um, then I, what I've got over here is I've got a bit of a breakdown. Again, sort of drums finish and then come back in, let the leads and everything play together. Um, but here I've got what was my Atmos, and this time all it is is a reverse symbol. Um, if you grab a crash symbol, um, I find a crash works pretty well. Uh, reverse it and just use the, the the first part of the reversed area or the last part of where it would be playing forward so you're just catching the tail end of a uh, of a crash symbol and reversing that so it, it gives that effect of kind of being side chained and and pumping with or around the kick drums um, but it's just being triggered on the beat basically um, and you know it's really simple technique so if I play over here where the the sort of main breakdown comes in so you'll see when the the drums come back in there's this sort of sweeping effect I'll just solo it on its own first so you can hear what you're listening out for So yeah, I mean you can kind of see how simple it is, it's literally just that sort of swooshing effect, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, when I uh, skip back a bit and you'll hear that come in with the drums. Um, so if I just sort of play a bit of the breakdown, um, when the drums come in, the swooshing whatever, uh, the Atmos sound starts kicking in. Um, and yeah, let's have a listen. basically it is pretty simple um, the other thing I've done in this uh, you'll notice I've called it rev symbol plus minus one ST so one semitone what I've also done in this track um, is LFO'd the pitch of it as well because it's a symbol there is kind of no tone to it um, <clears throat> what I've done is then automated uh, the LFO uh, to adjust the pitch only by one semitone um, and it's actually over 32 bars in length so it's one of those things you kind of barely notice but it's there um, and it kind of adds a bit of drama to the track then as well because in certain parts every now and then your ears will start tuning into that because you can hear it pitching down ever so slightly um, and it just kind of throws something off a bit um, so yeah that's kind of it really for this um, it's just something I do in a lot of my tracks and I think it's something that kind of adds a bit more substance I was talking in one of the last videos about adding depth and sort of making your track a bit fuller by throwing in um, you know off rhythm snare sounds or whatever um, and this is just another sort of way of adding to that as well so it's a bit smoother it's a bit more progressive um, obviously with the tracks I write under my own name they're, they're 
I don't even know what kind of music it is, but I guess generally progressive house, whatever. Um, and with that sort of progressive vibe of things just being a bit deeper and a bit more sweeping, um, I don't like to be too obvious with huge synths and whatever all the time. So sometimes it's nice to sort of strip things back and just have that swooshing sort of noise that's kind of wrapped around the kick drums really. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, something I probably haven't mentioned in the last few videos is uh, if you want to get involved, obviously like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, but also you can catch me on my Facebook um, for studio inquiries, sound design, stuff like that. Obviously head to Facebook slash Kane Audio. Uh, if you want me as an artist for whatever, for bookings and stuff, you can head to facebook.com slash Dom Kane or domkane.com. Um, and either way, I'm at the other end of them. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Cheers.